What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm really excited because I finally found a PlayStation 5 and today we're going to be unboxing it. Let's get right into this. So I've been looking for a PlayStation 5 off and on for about a year, maybe a little bit more, and I finally found one today. Decided just to call a couple game stops in my area. I called four, and the fourth one actually had one in stock. So let's just get right to opening this up. So here we go, here is my PlayStation 5. I've yet to open it up. This is my first time opening it up. I'm really excited. First thing I will say is I did buy the disc version because I do have a lot of PlayStation 4 games that I do want to play on the PS5, and the only way to play the disc versions I so obviously have the disc version of the console, and obviously I wanted to stick with that. Now another thing I didn't realize is they already have bundles out where the PS5 is bundled with the game, so we have included Horizon 2 Forbidden West, the digital code inside, which I'm really excited for, to be able to play that game. I wanted to wait till I got a PS5 to get the game, and it was included. The other thing to note, I am in Canada, so in Canada at GameStop, in order to purchase the PlayStation 5, you must also purchase a game that is $69 or more, and it has to be brand new. If you can't find a game, they will help you out uh, and let you purchase an additional controller or something else, but it has to be new, and it has to be over $69, so I decided to go with Dying Light 2 Stay Human, which is an $80 game here in Canada. So I can't wait to start playing this game here. But now, let's open up the PlayStation 5. I already have the tape cut here. Right here, that's all I did. I didn't open it up yet. Let's see what is inside here. So I'm assuming it's another box inside a box like they did for me for my PlayStation 4 uh, Slim. Now let's open up the box that was inside. I like how they have instructions on how to open up the uh, the box here. That is hilarious. Here we go. So up first we have the manual. The sorry, this is the quick start guide. Now we have the safety guide. It's two manuals. We do have the power adapter, which looking at it here. It is the same end as the PlayStation 4, which is really, really interesting. And right here is the controller, so I can open it up here and take it out. So here is the PlayStation 5 controller, which honestly looks amazing. This is the first time me holding the PlayStation 5 controller. It honestly feels amazing in my hand. Very similar to the PlayStation 4, and I didn't know how I'd feel about the white controller, but it honestly looks amazing in my opinion. Really, really cool. I like how it's a new type of charger and it still has the jack port on it, which is awesome. Very, very cool. Now let's see what else is in here. I'm assuming this is the stand, which it is. Now for mine, I'm not gonna have it standing uh, vertically. I'm gonna have it horizontal, which a lot of people don't realize you can actually do with the PlayStation 5. Which is really cool. You literally just put it on its side uh, so it goes underneath it to sit. So, definitely going to be using that because that's the only way you can uh, use it. You have to use the um, stand with your PS5. In here, we do have oh, that's actually a better HDMI cable than the one that came with my PS4. I have to decide whether or not I want to use this one because I do have an industrial HDMI cable for my PS4. But this one here, it's different, uh, thicker ends. I'm not sure if that's better quality, but I'm gonna have to compare it to the industrial one that I have. See which one might be better. And in here is the PlayStation 5. So I'm actually just gonna put the box on its side to take out the PS5 here. I think that's gonna be the easiest way. All right, so here is the PlayStation 5. Now I already measured and I know this is going to fit perfectly, but it is a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be, even though I already knew about the dimensions. And that is 
the PlayStation 5. That looks amazing. And I actually like how I wasn't a fan of it online looking at pictures of it. The white. But honestly, it's more like a satin silver in a way. It kind of has like a texture on it. I absolutely like that. Love the PlayStation logo, how it's black here. And this is the front. So it's very interesting that the disc drive's on the bottom. That's one thing that's very interesting to me, but I really wish this Sony logo here was blacked out just like on the top is, but still minor details. You can replace the shells of the PlayStation 5, which I was thinking about doing, but now that I have the PS5, I have it open. Honestly, in my opinion, I might keep it white for now and change it in the future. To me, that does look amazing with the white but it's way bigger than I thought it was going to be, but still it's gonna fit perfectly on my shelf. And it actually fell out, but here is the little card you get on the back is the code to redeem Horizon 2 Forbidden West. Again, I didn't realize they already put out game bundles for the PS5, and I didn't realize it also includes the PS4 version, which is weird to have that with the PS5, but regardless, I guess you have both versions of it with the PS5. So that is the first look of the PlayStation 5. We'll make videos in the future showing you guys me replacing the internal hard drive and a couple other videos for the PlayStation 5. Different tech videos that I've done previously for the PS4. I'm going to figure out them for the PS5 and keep you guys updated. And I will have some more PlayStation 4 videos soon because I did already have them planned. So I still want to put them out for you guys. But I will leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.